Hello there. It's me, the fly. Yeah, we do need a fly emote. Hey, uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream chat. I am officially the number one Lenoverse streamer on all of Twitch, I think. And the only reason I can say that is because I have a degree. Because I was in the Lenoversity and I got my graduation, I got my degree and it was, it was good. Wasn't that funny? Hey, welcome. Uh, a, cu a couple quick things. The fly is really... I don't know where it is, chat. It might have laid eggs somewhere already because I can't fucking find it. I haven't seen it today. So that's your fly update. Um, really weird. Really weird. Vinny, the day you stop playing monkey ball is the day I start taking you seriously again as a streamer. Chat member. That is a bizarre sentence. <laughs> Listen, as the number one Lenoverse streamer, how could you not take me serious? You know, speaking of serious, I, I've got a serious message, which is that there's some... There's something that's uh, going on right now, chat. It's something weird. And, uh, you know, AI is, is definitely a hot button issue. And it's not one that ever really turns into any kind of good conversation anymore. It doesn't. Some of you know where this is going. But there's basically some website that allows you to search. And um, what's going on here is there's like... 170,000 YouTube videos, subtitles, that big tech companies are using to train their AI models. So, it turns out, I'm one of them. Take a look at some of these subtitles. I don't know whose screenshot this is, by the way, but thank you for sending it. Um, so, it's, okay, there's a Joel video, there's a Rev video, and then there's one of mine, two of mine, and it's um, frequently asked questions, which is a really random, weird choice, but Vinny, you must answer all the viewers' questions. That's the Twitch policy. Oh, fuck, that's a goo. And then the best one is the next one. Toad, okay, Vinny, oh no, infernal noises, snorting loudly, playback of Vinny strangling a toad. May I ask, what in the name of Christ fuck these subtitles are going to be used for? I don't... I don't understand. So, okay, it's kind of funny that it's like a seven-minute Q&A video and then the choicest voice, which is just noises and like comedy subtitles. So I don't really know why that happened. Um, but okay. Maybe it's just getting subtitles in general. That's possible. But here's the thing. On a serious note, you should be able to opt out of this stuff. Wouldn't that be a very, like, basic concept? Like, where you could just flick a switch? I'm, you know, I'm definitely upset with the way a lot of this stuff is kind of turned into, or what it's turned into. And, um grotesque imagery of Mario's butthole. <laughs> Listen, hear me out. Was funny for a little while, but you know, more and more I've seen some artists on, you know, Twitter, people like that I think have a really cool unique art style. Yeah, that shit is just scraped. So, again, I'm not here to reiterate the, you know, the topic because it, it, it becomes very confusing, it becomes annoying, and it becomes like even the comedy stuff that we've laughed at is is very verboten. So, I just wish there was a way to opt out. I don't really think that my subtitle... Like, I'm not losing sleep over this. It's not something like, okay, so they got me strangling a toad? Okay, fine. 
if I could flick the switch and opt out, I most certainly would. But, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, bizarre. And this was something that was sent my way. And, uh, I just wanted to share it with the chat because it was such a weird happening. There is actually something interesting, too. Like, on a similar note, like, so Infinite Craft is something I enjoyed. Infinite Craft was great. And that's the kind of stuff that, you know, I'm wondering where that stuff comes from. But the problem is, it does make you wonder. And there's another one that I really like that I wanted to show you. So maybe this is not the right time for it, but... I don't know if this was all done by hand, but here, what what beats rock, right? So we'll, we'll type in chicken. Chicken pecks at rock. Rock just sits there doing nothing. Peck, peck, peck. 268 others just guessed this too. What beats chicken? Fire. Fire cooks chicken. It's a culinary fact, not a debate. What beats fire? Water. Water puts out fire. It's basic science, folks. Okay, what beats water, chat? Maybe heat? Or, uh, um... Electricity. Electricity and water, that's a shocking combination. Electricity wins because it can zap through water like it's nobody's business. Um, what beats electricity? Earth? Earth grounds electricity literally and figuratively. Well, I guess rubber. What beats Earth? Meteor. Uh-oh. We've gone too big. Chat, we've gone too big. What beats meteor? Atmosphere? It, it, that worked. That actually worked. The atmosphere burns up meteors before they can even think about making a grand entrance. It's like the ultimate bouncer at a cosmic nightclub. So there's two creators of this. I, I, maybe they did this all by hand. It's very possible. What beats atmosphere? Um, hairspray. I like that answer, chat. No! Seven other people tried this. It might mess with the atmosphere, but the atmosphere is still going to be there holding its ground. Nice try, but no cigar. Okay, let's try this again. What beats rock? Just curious. Rock beats, well, let's just say it's not a good day for the guests. Keep it classy, folks. Okay. What beats rock? Paper. Okay. Paper covers rock. What beats paper? Knife. Knife slices through paper like a hot knife through well paper. Easy peasy. What beats knife? Um. Boulder. Knife against a boulder. That's like bringing a spoon into a knife fight. The boulder wins by sheer mass. What beats boulder? Uh, bomb. Bomb. Bomb can turn a boulder into a pile of pebbles. Boom goes the dynamite. What beats bomb? Uh... Bomb squad? Bomb squad beats bomb. It's like bringing a knife to a bomb fight, but with more expertise and fewer explosions. What beats bomb squad? Uh, to, uh, guns. Bomb squad is trained to handle explosive and disarm threats. Guns, they're probably, they probably have those too. Damn. Chat, what beats rock? One more. Yeah, there's a lot of assumptions happening here. Cock? 
the cock crows at the rock. The rock just sits there. Who's the real winner here? Okay, we're doing this again. Katana. A katana is a sword. It would definitely slice through a cock, the bird, not the other thing. Let's keep it family friendly here. You're the first person to beat cock with a katana. <laughs> What beats Katana? Um, see, now here we are again. Let's see. Rock. No repeats. Claymore. Claymore is a massive sword that you can easily overpower a Katana. It, like bringing a bazooka to a knife fight. What beats Claymore? Rust. Rust corrodes metal. And a Claymore is a metal sword. You can't fight with a rusty sword. That's just medieval foolishness. What beats rust? Why, why is this rust? Well, I don't think this is manually created. Which is, you know, again, I think this is fun. I like this. This is the kind of stuff I do enjoy, but... WD-40? Bad at numbers. Um... Uh... Um... Vinegar. Vinegar dissolves rust. It's like a day, a spa day for your rusty old tools. It defeats vinegar. Oil? Oil and vinegar might make a great salad dressing, but oil's got slick moves to win this one, huh? What beats oil? Fire? It ignites oil. Water? So we're going back to water. Um, what else beats water, chat? Ice doesn't. Sun? Yeah, but then I have to defeat the sun. Grass types? Um. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur drinks up water like it's a protein shake. Hydration is the key. What beats Bulbasaur? Charmander. Okay, now it's just Pokemon all the way down. What beats Charmander? Gun. Gun would definitely take down a Charmander unless it's a Pokemon battle, then that's just cheating. Hmm. Uh... What beats gun? Dildo? Don't know, chat. No! Armor. Armor stops bullets. Okay. What beats armor? <sighs> uh... Missile. Yes. What beats missile? EMP. It fries the circuits. It's like turning off the TV during the best part of the show. What beats EMP? Oh god, I don't- oh god. Um... Uh... Caveman! Yes! What beats caveman? Um... Goku. You are the first person to beat caveman with Goku. Goku can fly and shoot energy beams. Caveman can only club things. Not a fair fight. What beats Goku? Mecha. Godzilla. Wow! Someone else guessed that Mecha Godzilla could kill Goku. What beats Mecha Godzilla? Uh, uh. Godzilla? Godzilla beats Mecha Godzilla. What beats Godzilla? Rust? <laughs> asteroid. Godzilla might be a giant monster, but an asteroid can wipe out an entire species. Just ask the dinosaurs. So now we're at um, a cosmic level again. Nuke beats Asteroid. A nuke can blow an asteroid to smithereens. Michael Bay would be proud. What beats nuke? 
Kirby. Oh, oh, peace. Peace. Peace beats Nuke. Peace always wins over nukes. It's like bringing a hug to a knife fight. What beats Pete's? <laughs> Be Pete's? Peace, war. Pete, war does not beat peace. Ah. Oh. Let me see if the scoreboard is stream. Oh. Some people have scores in the thousands. Hang on. Um, one of these, it says here at the bottom. What, what does it say? Garlic bread did not beat orgasm. That is the sentence of the century, chat. Well, again, that's fun. I enjoyed that. And that's, that's an example of, I think, a good use of, of a way we can have fun. But yes, opting out of like not wanting to be involved in that kind of stuff, I think is very important and should be a default. Every website that has your stuff on it, I think it would be nice if it started with, you know, data scrubbing off. But, you know, when you get those pop-ups, it's like, we're Facebook. You can trust us. No, really. We're your friends. Eh. Uh, I don't know. Eh. Uh. All right, chat, we'll play a video game now. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why would you guess this? My God.